Well, hello there, guys. Welcome to another battle here in Armored Brigade. We've got a fascinating fight here. We're fighting at midnight, guys, with the German Federal Republic, and we're trying to take Machin before the Soviets take it. Uh, it's pretty much just a race to the finish line here. Uh, we've also got some scout helicopters that we can go ahead and plop down in this area, and I think I'm going to try and put them maybe here. Uh, as a starting location, um, maybe, yeah, it's no no line of sight there, honestly. So I'm going to put Battle Position 1 right there at Stella, and maybe Battle Position 2 over here at Machen. And again, I don't think there's a line of sight there, um, so we're just going to keep him there uh, at the Stella location, and hopefully he'll be able to spot some. But here, there's again not much of a line of sight. Uh, we want to start the battle, guys, and again, we want to reach that position before the enemy. So this is uh, the first time I've used the fast maneuver, but I'm definitely going to use it here to try and get in there before the Soviets do. Uh, the same with Stella here. We'll go ahead, we'll fast move into Stella proper, and we'll take the rest of these units and try and get up through Machen as well. So I'm going to go ahead, fast move them as well, forward and up, uh, and hopefully we'll be able to take the city before the Soviets get there or else things are going to be very complicated for us, as you can imagine. What I'll do here, guys, is I will return when the battle begins. Our boys are headed towards the battlefield. Hopefully they can beat the Soviets and show them not to mess with West Germany. But only time will tell, my friends. Only time Looks will like tell. contact has been made, guys. Uh, we are just approaching the outer perimeter of the actual city here um, at Star. This is a location we have just located or just taken. Um, and what I want to do now is turn these tanks towards the Soviets over here. It looks like we've got some pretty good fire coming from both sides. So I want to keep these units where they are. Uh, I also like the cover they've got here. Um, but I wonder if it's enough to wipe out the Soviet forces. Beautiful hit there on the T-64. And again, it's nighttime here, which gives us a slight advantage in terms of visibility. Um, if we can spot the enemy first, and right now those lights are giving him away. Uh, all of the street lamps are on. I guess the enemy didn't think to turn those off. Uh, and that's making uh, these targets really easy to hit, guys. Another enemy wheeled vehicle. And I'm just going to keep these tanks here um, in a kill position. I'll move a few of them up even closer. But for the most part, I want to keep these guys where they are. My biggest concern is maybe enemy infantry um, getting out and taking locations like Star. But I think so far things look pretty good. Leopards are doing an incredible job here. Okay, guys, we've got more tracked vehicles moving up the road. Enemies making a major mistake here with their movement. Um, they're making it very easy for us to spot them. I mean, they're right here. They're coming up the road. Um, it's an easy, easy view. And right now, some of them, it looks like they're trying to cut across the field, but I think we got them, guys. Just managing to break past Machen faster than we expected, uh, and that may have just given us a tremendous ambush. Just look at our guys firing. We've got these leopards all over the place, uh, wasting enemy vehicles. It's almost like maybe we've got some night vision technology, and they don't. We might be privy to that. But I believe this particular battle takes place a bit earlier than our other battles, guys. I believe this is 1973, uh, so about a year after the end of the Vietnam War. Um, technology's not perfect. As you can see, they've still got some really old-fashioned mortars here on the back of a truck. Sort of a mortar technical, for lack of a better word. Um, and the Soviets are working with pretty rudimentary weapons. And I guess if you look at modern technology, kind of so are we. Um, this is basically just post-Vietnam War. Uh, not the greatest, I think. All right, here we go. Still, though, pretty advanced technology. Much more advanced than World War II, but a lot of the tanks here, uh, or a lot of the vehicles like this SP mortar, could probably be used in World War II as well. Let's take a look at our other advance over here at Stella. Okay, that seems to be going fine without a hitch, guys. We've also got our um, helicopters here, but we don't really seem to need them right now. Um, and we don't have a position close to the front lines uh, to bring them in. Okay, so we've taken that location, and I think we'll take this group uh, and actually have them fast move towards the sun location here. Just want to take that from the enemy. Um, I don't really feel like we even need to reinforce this. 
Uh, although eventually these guys could run out of ammunition. That's something to keep in mind. In the meantime, we are knocking guys out left and right. I don't think we've lost a single vehicle. We actually lost one APC earlier. Um, it just was immobilized by, uh, I think, terrain. Uh, or maybe just some sort of uh, something wrong with the vehicle. It wasn't hit by anything. It's kind of strange, but I like that they add that in the game. Of course, there, there can always be mechanical failures, that sort of thing. It's not um, not a crazy notion. Oh, boy. Get him. Unbelievable. <clears throat> I'm almost tempted to move forward, guys, but I know better at this point in Armored Brigade uh, to just, you know, move forward willy-nilly. I might grab, like, some of these units, like these two, and fast move up the flank here. But we've got a great position right now. I mean, they just got destroyed on that highway. Um, you know, and when we absolutely ambushed them. They weren't expecting that one bit. I mean, we just happened to get there before them. Uh, so maybe we should just hold our positions and uh, hope this continues. So nothing's going wrong right now. And um, if we can keep this up, we'll be able to hold these positions and go home with a victory. There we go. More enemy troops this time. Wow. Yeah, I think they're they're down to their last men for sure, uh, or at least down to you know down to infantry units, which for them is not good. Uh, I don't think we even need these units from Stella, but uh, just to make sure, I'm going to actually move them this way and back to the to the back of Horsten here. But this is going to take way too long. There's no way these guys are going to get here. Um, at the very least, they'll be patrolling Stella for the rest of the battle uh, to make sure we don't have any enemies in this area. But I, I think we're doing just fine, guys. Alright, Sun should be ours pretty soon here. Uh, as soon as we get this unit in the location. I think we need maybe a, an HQ division to go there for us to take it. <clears throat> Heads up, boys. We got more incoming. Nice. So these are our advancing uh, leopards right here, guys. Oh, man. Beautiful. Totally destroyed him. Right through the side armor. <clears throat> I think we can actually stop this fellow here. Okay, our Milan is taking fire. That's uh, an IFB. Uh, it might actually even have troops inside of it. Let me delete all waypoints for it right here. I want to see if I can actually unload. I think I can, and that's probably what I'm going to do. It's going to take a few seconds for these guys to unload properly. Um, but, you know, we should be in this location anyway, guys. This is one of the actual objectives. Oh, boy. Wow. Okay. We just lost one. Two passengers killed there. That's not good. That means there could be some enemy activity around here. Although I'm not quite seeing it. Okay, it's enemy artillery, guys, so that's what just caused that death. Um, let's advance into this sector as well, and we'll just unload any units we can here. I think they have a better chance at surviving outside of that vehicle, believe it or not. So if the vehicle goes, everybody goes. Um, you know, if they unload, maybe a few of them will survive. Wow, another tank. More enemy tanks here, guys, more enemy vehicles. What are they thinking at this point? Yeah, so they're definitely coming up this Autobahn um, and making themselves uh, really, really noticeable. Trying to hide behind some wrecks there, but I don't think it's going to save them. And uh, in this particular area, they're completely annihilated. Uh, maybe we just need to take these units and actually move them here. And look at this! We've got some enemy vehicles here. What the hell is going on? Whoa! Enemy tanks just kind of just popped out of there. I didn't expect that at all. Um, he may have gotten lost, but I think he's going to have some friends with him. So let's keep advancing. I see why we haven't taken this location. We've got enemy tanks here. So it looks like the enemy left a little mini ambush for us as well. Um, but we're prepared for it, as far as I can see. Nice! That was a Jaguar 2 missile right there, guys. That was not uh, fired 
from a turret. That was actually a proper missile. Well, not a tank turret. Boom. Another kill. And these are the guys we actually advance with. So we could advance with these tanks. Uh, I feel pretty comfortable doing that now. I I'm going to go ahead and do that, guys. We completely overpowered the enemy. I think we, we should take advantage of this. If we want to unload the units from this IFV, uh, let's go ahead and give an unload order here. There's a lot of Soviet uh, rifle squads here, motorized rifle squad. Um, this is generally kind of, I guess, uh, conscript unit of sorts. Okay, and that's a total victory, guys. Definitely a total victory there. Beautiful. I mean, it was so hard to go wrong there. We only lost 12 troops, 3 vehicles. Um, just the fact that we got to the Autobahn before the enemy and were able to set up on the rim there of Machen granted us a victory. If you guys enjoy these Armored Brigade battles, make sure to hit that like button, comment down below, and of course subscribe to this channel to get more strategy videos sooner rather than later. Thank you so much, guys. I'll catch you on the next one.